Hey guys, Zerka here and welcome to another player review. Uh, today we're looking at Dominic Aduro, he plays uh, for Columbus Crew in the MLS. He's Ghanaian, he's a silver 69 rated striker uh, with 94 pace. And obviously that is a stat that kind of stands out and makes you want to get him. Um, before we get into the video, if you want to get some Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFACoinsOnline.com or check out the link in the description links to their Facebook page and go and like that page. Um, anyway, right, so the reason obviously why we're reviewing this player in the first place is the fact that he has 94, uh, pa 94 pace. And look at his in-game stats right now, and they're pretty poor. Until we get to a certain part of his stats that kind of really stand out, and that are his physical attributes. His skill attributes are pretty poor. You see there, they're all in the reds, the oranges and the yellows. And there's quite a lot of reds, actually, there. I mean, yeah, the best stat on that page is the long shots of 73. And we'll, we'll get into shooting sometime soon, but it really shouldn't be. Like, for 73 long shots, it's definitely not what it says on the tin. Um, and his skill attributes, again, are really... Like they're poor, they're poor. The shot power is 76, maybe that's kind of right. Um, but realistically, this card is very much reliant on these physical attributes because that is realistically all he's got, and that is realistically the only reason why he was expensive in the first place. Uh, when I first out went out and bought him, he was 750,000 coins that I got him for. He was actually selling for over a million, I got him cheap at the time. Uh, but anyway, let's go back onto his stats. He's 27, he's six foot tall. Um, he has the perfect work rates, attacking, high, uh, high attacking work rate and a low defensive work rate, three star weak foot and three star skill moves. Uh, obviously that 94 pace and being six foot tall, I mean, it, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the, it gives off an illusion that he may seem slower than he really is. I mean, he's got 94 pace and I'm not going to lie, I'm not sure if I actually saw it whilst using this card. Uh, he has 99 agility, which is obviously a very good standout stat, but the fact that he's so tall, you don't really get to notice it. So if you're dribbling with the ball, you should be able to change directions very, very easily because we've got 99 agility, but you don't really get to feel that due to his height. Um, 97 sprint speed and 94 acceleration and 94 stamina. So all really, really good physical stats. As I said to you, he very much relies on his his physical attributes there is standout stats and that's the only standout stats in his whole card uh, his skill shot his skill shots his skill attributes are something you definitely don't want to be looking at because they are really pretty much very ugly but anyway look, look at the comparison between the two cards his initial one and his now inform one and look at the differences they didn't change the pace at all the overall rating has gone up plus four the dribbling has gone up plus three uh, the shooting's gone up plus six that's a major improvement on his shooting his defense has gone up uh plus plus one He's passing up plus seven. That's the biggest improvement in his whole card. And ironically, that is one of his worst like features. It's one of the cons I'd say about this card, but we'll get onto that soon. And his heading has gone up plus three. So again, a nice improvement in improvement his heading, but again, that ironically is another stat or another kind of skill set that really seems to be lacking in this card. So let's quickly cover the price of these two cards. Uh, the initial one on the left hand side is original card. I think it sells for about three or four thousand coins. And his inform when I got him was 750,000 coins, and that was a bargain at the time, as I've said. Uh, he was actually selling for a million at some point, so I think his card weight has now gone down quite a bit. Um, and he's now new like 150,000 coins. So again, another card that I lost quite a lot of players on. So me and reviews really don't go very well. Uh, but this is the side that I used him in. It's a bit much of a like, it's a Ghanaian kind of uh, Brazilian slash BBVA hybrid. You can see there I've got Pepe, Ramos and Lucio in defense of Casillas in goal. You've got Mentari and Essien, a CDM. You've got uh, Kevin Prince, Boateng, Quincy, also Abayi on the right-hand side and Robinho on the left-hand side. And then he, uh, or he being Aduro, is up front with another Ghanaian striker. I forgot his name. Uh, but he pretty much had similar pace to Aduro, so I thought I'd have them two up front because it'd be two really pacey strikers and it'd be really good for us to work with. And you see how this first goal just scores that a really nice, tasty lob. And this lob, I'm not going to talk about the goals, actually. I can talk about what he actually plays like. So it's all about his pros that he's got. Obviously, he's 94 pace, so he is really fast. But if he's 94, does he feel like 94 pace? I'm not too sure. Uh, sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes people would say that's due to handicap. Um, I'm obviously not going to say that. I think it's like different situations. On the ball, he's very slow, very slow. If you see there, a lot of his defenders caught up with me. Um, but when you play the ball over the top or like just a, a lob through ball, a normal through ball, he does get to the ball first. Um, then let's go to a con that he has. His first touch is ridiculously awful. Like, when I say awful, it's awful. I've had a clip. If I could find it, I didn't, I didn't manage to find it, but I passed into him, and he literally almost touched it, like, so far that it was essentially was a pass. It locked off of him and went out to someone else. Um, and that happened to me quite a lot. And that's obviously something you really don't want in a fast player, because if you're going to play the ball over the top to him, you're going to be able to want to bring it down, take a good first touch, and set yourself up to actually score against the goalkeeper, where if you're going to have a touch where it's going to go far away from you, yeah, the goal is going to close you down instantly or it's going to go too far away and the defender's going to get the ball off of you. Um, so yeah, it's one, of the, it's one of the poor things about this card. Another really, really poor thing about this card is its heading. Um, Duro's heading is awful. I put so many crosses into him and not only would he not win the headers half the time, being six foot, you'd hope that he would win some headers here and there. 
Um, but if he did win the header, he would just header it miles wide or miles over. His heading accuracy was like diabolical. It's like so, so bad. I've had bronze players have better heading than him. Um, and what else was really bad about him? His passing is really, really bad. Uh, look at that first touch there. That's an example of his first touch. It actually worked out for us. So that's how he did that crazy finish. I don't know how that happened. Um, that's one thing I'd say, actually. His shooting uh, is inconsistent. It sometimes it's really good and it sometimes it's really bad. But as I was saying, his passing is another one of his really poor traits. Um, he's a right at like kind of long passing, but when it comes to like just short passes, the power also always seems to be wrong. It's either over hit or it's under hit. So overall, I really, really wouldn't recommend using him, um, especially his inform card. If you're going to try and use him out, then get the normal one. But I must warn you before you start using the normal one is that the, his uh, skill attributes, the, skill, the improvement in his skill attributes between the normal card and the inform card are quite considerable. So when you use the normal card, the normal card really is quite bad. Like the normal card literally only has pace and that is about it. Um, but yeah, that's the end of today's review. If you want me to do some more reviews, then please leave a comment telling me so. But here's a question, I'm gonna post a question for you guys to answer in the comments. Would you rather I do reviews on cheap players or expensive players? Because realistically, the past two reviews that I've done, I lost a hell of a lot of coins. That Neymar one, I lost two million coins on. Like, I'm a bit special with that. I thought I'd be funny and do a YOLO moment and it just really didn't pay off for me. And then this one, obviously, I took too long to do the review and ended up losing a lot of coins on him as well. But thank you guys for watching anyway and I shall see you guys soon. Goodbye.